composer once told me, he said, you know, there's no such thing as a chord. Now, of course, he, he was being provocative because we know that there's chords. And I said, I said, you know, come on, there's, there's he says, no, what you call a chord is, is a tangible object. But he says, he says what, what a chord is in music is, is what happens when melodies intersect. The chord doesn't come first. The chord is a result. You know? So when we try to make chords, we're forcing something artificial onto the music. So we want to let the, the chord occur. Now, uh, some, sometimes uh, there's, there's a definite melody. Sometimes it, it's a rhythmic, just one note. And so let, let's say in the example of a blues, this is because we were talking about chord melody. So one, one way is using these guide tones. These third and sevenths are called guide tones. And once again, so the way you find them is inside, they're already in the shell voicings. So if we know this shell voicing, this is A minor 7th to D 7th to G major 7th, no 5th in this. Here's the guide tones here. So the middle register where the guide tones live, because they don't, they don't really have that effect when they're down low, but when they're uh, in the middle, so the range of these two strings, this, when, when people say the guitar is a miniature orchestra, this is the middle voices of the orchestra. So this is where the thirds and sevenths live. And in our shell voicings, this would be the A minor, D seventh to the G. And there's, there it is, right? These voicings that we already play. And perhaps we, we might know this for A minor seventh, the A, the C, and the G. I'm up at the 12th fret. For, and using the same set of strings, you've got it. You, so some, some, some people already know this chord or the A minor ninth, but just w without, without the ninth, without the fancy extra note, there's the root, the third, and the seventh. Now this would be the D seventh. So this would be voiced root. And most of us know the cowboy chord or, or the D thirteenth and the other fancy chords that, uh, but the, the essential, the shell, is this is the root, the seventh, and the third. And, and this would be the G major 7th. Some of us already know this G major 9th. If you don't, but without the 9th, it's... So... That's um, our 2 5 one mm -ba, Or... Ba. There it is there. Now, <clears throat> the, the blues is, is perhaps a progression that, that maybe most of us are familiar with. The jazz blues is somewhat different, and I'll use that one because it has the cycle that we're talking about in it, the 2 5 one. <clears throat> So let's say we're, we have a blues in B flat. This would be part of the, uh, there's the shell voicing of the B flat seventh, but this is the th just the third and seventh. So it's the sixth and the seventh fret. So I'm just going to play these two notes. If in the beginning you need to, to look at the bass note for your, your reference, that's OK. That's OK. I won't uh, hold that against you because I did too. And that's why I know that, it, that we need our reference points. You know, so I, I, I still look at the sixth fret as the B flat fret. <laughs> when I was playing more rock and roll, I used to think of it as the A sharp fret. Uh, but shouldn't make any difference. Uh, but uh, anyway, I, I get a deal on the F flat and the C flat strings because uh, nobody's buying them. <laughs> They're giving them away. So yeah. <laughs> so um, uh, there, there's the B flat seventh. Now, if I want to go to the four chord E flat seventh. I just move down a half step. And our, our, our reference point is perhaps this. Some of us know this ninth chord. Some of us know the, this cowboy chord or the Hendrix chord. Hendrix, cowboy, uh, James Brown. Uh, 
and um, that's uh, the E flat seventh, but just these two notes. So the B flat seventh, the E flat seventh, and then we go back to the B flat seventh for two bars. And then we go to the E flat seventh, you see the four chord. And then it goes back to the one chord. And then it goes to the sixth dominant, which is a G seventh, which is up here. I'm gonna break time right now because I just wanna make sure that we all are in the same. So this is the G seventh, but just play the two notes. And then for the sake of, we go C seventh, down a half step, because this is the C seventh. So the same, so we're just gonna use the dominant shape, which is diagonal. Instead of being in a straight line on the guitar, the, the dominant is a diagonal. So this is C seventh. And if we move it down a half step, it's B seventh or F seventh. Hence, that's where the tritone substitution, you might've heard that, that term, but that's, that's what the tritone substitution is. And then B flat to G seventh, the same place it was a minute ago, to C seventh, to F seventh, to B flat seventh. So let's, let's I'll, I'll call them out. Remember where the G seventh was? Right up at the dot. <laughs> C seventh down a half step, F seventh down a half step, and then we're back to home. G seventh, this is a quick one, back down, and the top. A uh, one, two, three, four, four chord, back to the one for two bars. And then to the four chord, a oh, one, two, three. We stay there, two bars, a oh, one, two, three. We go to the one, and we're gonna go up to the six. Very good, yeah, you can climb up. And then back oh, down a half step, down a half step. And then one, six, two, five. And we're coming back to the top. One more time, we'll go through the... You know, four chord. Back to the one. Up to the six. The two, down a half step. Five, down a half step, and two beats each, the same one, six, two, five. Now we'll do the one note blues. Now, now, now uh, they tell you that any note in, uh, in the blues scale will work through the blues progression, and they're not wrong. But I hear, um, uh, you know, I hear people practicing running up and down the blue scale, and they just, and I walk into the room and say, "What the hell are you doing?" You know, I said, "I'm playing the blues, man." I said, well, "You know, the blues, you got to feel the form." So it, it's not wrong, but but we we have a phrase, and uh, and one of the reasons that James Brown is so popular and BB King is so popular is because they acknowledge the one. You know, now let's do B flat is the one. Let's now let's just hold this. We might have to change our fingers around, but we'll go one, two, three, four. Oh, one, the four chord. Back to the. We're doing the same thing, but we're just adding a oh, one. The four chord. And 
then if you want a, a little different spread, the same information. So this is, it's still a diagonal because of the, uh, the tuning. So this is A flat and D, that's what you were doing. This is D and A flat. And then spread down. 